a maxi style scooter featuring awesome fuel economy and tech that's found mostly on premium machines. Presenting the Keyless 2021 Yamaha NMAX 155 ABS. We don't receive compensation from distributors allowing us to bring you through an unbiased opinions. A liquid cool, 4 stroke, single cylinder, blue core engine that's equipped with VVA or also known as variable valve actuation and 155.1 cc displacement churns out a decent 14.9 horsepower at 8000 rpm and 14.4 newton meters of torque at 6000 rpm. By the way, notice the blue head buff? Limited quantities available now at triple3.com. Power is efficiently transferred through its automatic CVT gearbox, a V-belt and centrifugal clutch that spins a 13-inch cast rear rim wrapped by an IRC SS560 tyre. A single 230mm rotor and a single piston floating caliper assisted by a two-channel ABS and traction control. Keeping the rear behaved are dual non-adjustable shocks. In the front is a 13-inch cast rim wrapped by an IRC SS570 tyre and placed host to a 230mm rotor and a single piston fixed caliper that is also assisted by its two-channel ABS. Keeping the front on the road is a non-adjustable telescopic fork. An LCD dash on the 2021 Yamaha NMAX 155 displays information like speed, fuel level, time, temperature, trip meters, battery voltage, engine oil, and V-belt mileage. The system also features its Y-Connect system, allowing the rider to view all information about the machine, from real-time tachometer readings, fuel efficiency readings, to service intervals. Speaking of fuel efficiency, the 2021 Yamaha NMAX 155 holds a 7.1 litre fuel tank and has a claimed consumption of 40.8 km per litre, giving it a theoretical range of 289 km. We found our efficiency to be about 39.4 km per litre, pretty close to what is claimed. Helping with efficiency is Yamaha's start-stop system that shuts the engine off at stops and starting it up again when you want to move. Ignition is almost instant thanks to its SGCU or Starter Generator Control Unit. This system integrates the starter and the power generator, also known as the Magneto Coil, providing silent and almost instant starts. Your mileage may vary. With Maxi scooters, everyone wants to know about the storage. A 23.5 litre underseat cargo compartment doesn't disappoint. It fits a full face helmet easily with room to spare. For smaller items, a sealable glove compartment in the front right comes in handy. On the front left is a non-sealable compartment that fits a 600ml bottle of water. It also holds a 12 volt power outlet for convenient accessory charging. A partial LED package comes with the 2021 Yamaha NMAX 155, an LED headlight, an LED tail light and incandescent signal lights. Regular servicing on the 2021 Yamaha NMAX 155 is every 3,000 km with 1 litre of engine oil with an oil filter replacement and 900 ml without. Transmission servicing is every 3,000 km with 100 ml of gear oil. Belt replacement usually together with rollers should be changed every 25,000 km. Major servicing is every 7,000 km for a valve clearance inspection. Adjust as needed. Jake is 1.87 meters tall with a seat height of 768 millimeters and a curb weight of 132 kilos. Let us show you how he looks on the bike. He's got a relaxed, upright posture. With Mark coming in as a pillion, he felt very cramped and he found the seat to be small but functional. 
with a combined weight of 172 kilos, the shocks bottom out. Not okay. Endless aftermarket options are available on the market. Be sure to use only credible brands. With a height of 1.58 meters, JS, our guest from Triple Tree's Motorcyclist Telegram Group, wants to show you how he looks on the bike. Thank you, JS. The turning radius is very small for its class. In our opinion, the 2021 Yamaha NMAX 155 was made for the city streets. Its lightweight and automatic transmission provides excellent convenience. The ride was very smooth and the suspension system was decent. The 2021 Yamaha NMAX 155 had no trouble keeping to highway speeds or slowing down to a crawl. Handling was good throughout. We didn't notice any hit on the 2021 Yamaha NMAX 155 at slow, stop-go city riding or on the highway. Very okay! Let's have a listen to how it sounds. We would have preferred if the pillion seat had deeper padding. We could feel the structure underneath when riding, but you may not notice this if you are not as heavy as us. <laughs> we found the stopping power on the 2021 Yamaha NMAX 155 to be solid. The feedback from the brakes were good. We would have also liked to see a full LED light package including a light and power outlet in the main cargo compartment. We like how spacious it was for the rider. The extended floorboard made all the difference. Overall, the 2021 Yamaha NMAX 155 ABS is a perfect machine for first-time riders and makes for a very convenient side bike for the more experienced. With that, we hope you like, share and subscribe. I'm Winston and see you on the road.